Uh, the conveners of this forum, the uh, Liko Dangote Foundation, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and TechnoServe, I think, deserve all our commendation for providing the platform for this hugely uh, important conversation on sustaining fortification compliance levels. Or perhaps more simply, how to ensure that every Nigerian family, and especially young Nigerians, benefit from more micronutrients in their diets. As it is for all sectors of the economy, the Nigerian food processing industry has been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's been all sorts of, you know, uh, impacts on aspects of the food business, ranging from financing, staff welfare, to supply chain disruptions, etc. Operators in the sector have had to make difficult decisions regarding shutting down or downsizing, mm -hmm. you know, asking office-based staff to work from home, or putting in place some costly extra practice or procedure to protect plant employees from exposure. And all of this, of course, has taken its toll, but I must say that despite all of this, they, you know, the food industry has shown tremendous uh, resilience. The role that um, the industry has played during this very challenging period, I think, has demonstrated uh, just how strong the industry is and how resilient it can be. Mm -hmm. The commitment of the leadership of these industries to national development through supporting the food system in Nigeria is quite simply remarkable. And the food systems within the processing sector, you know, we've all heard, are fitted for improved nutrition. Mm -hmm. I must also commend the efforts of the partners in the Strengthening African Processors or Fortified Foods Project, who have in the past three years focused on increasing consumer access to adequately fortified foods. We have an enormous opportunity here to reinforce the goal of sustainable food fortification in Nigeria. And I'm sure all of us are pleased to see how the average compliance rates uh, to national fortification standards have increased from 50% in 2018 to 75% uh, in 2019 and hitting the target of 90% this year. I believe this platform will continue to serve as an opportunity to review progress on an annual basis and share lessons learned against fortification standards within their respective sectors. The Nigerian government is keen on driving collaborative efforts in enhancing national monitoring and enforcement of fortification quality standards. Mm. NAFDAC, the National Agency for Food and Drug mm. Administration and Control, SON, Standards Organization of Nigeria, and the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission have done innovative work uh, in this regard through the joint regulatory uh, framework. Industrial compliance with food fortification standards, especially in wheat flour, salt and sugar, have also improved. We however need to reach full compliance to be able to shape national public health outcomes to the extent that we, we all desire. The Micronutrient Fortification Index is an interesting innovation that will motivate industries to self-regulate in meeting government standards for food fortification. The use of this tool should be adopted by all companies involved in fortification, and I believe it should be made available to stakeholders and shareholders alike. We should be able to hold uh, them accountable as they strive to meet industry benchmarks, including compliance with Nigerian fortification standards. Government regulatory agencies will definitely find the tool useful in support of industry regulation efforts and uh, consumer expectations. The Ministries of Finance, uh, Budget and National Planning, Industry, Trade and Investment, and Health each have a critical role to play and have been at the forefront of food fortification in Nigeria. Through ongoing engagements with the Directors General and core group representatives from NAFDAQ, SON, and FCCPC, the collaboration towards enhancing national monitoring and enforcement of fortification quality standards has been strengthened. The challenges faced by the industries of the four 
targeted food vehicles of edible oil, salt, sugar, and wheat flour are certainly not insurmountable. And I hope with uh, consistent engagements with the relevant uh, government agencies, we will resolve these issues easily. Let me conclude by once again commending uh, Bill and Aliko for their efforts in nutrition and other development priorities in Nigeria, and indeed for being friends of the government of Nigeria and also TechnoServe, which is successfully implementing the project on strengthening African processors of fortified foods in collaboration with the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition and other partners. The 2021 UN Summit on food system is around the corner. And we are all stakeholders in that process. So I call on everyone to join me as we collectively begin to prepare our participation at the 2021 summit. Thank you all very much.